Welcome back to the channel. If you've been following me, you'll know that I was going to do uh, what I'm calling my IPA Palooza. And I originally was going to do this Palooza <laughs> with a friend. And uh, we went shopping for five different styles of IPA. Um, and we were going to do a video together. It's just been too hard with uh, schedules to get together. So I decided to do it differently. Uh, I'm just going to do it on my own. And I'm going to do, um, do one a week, maybe a couple a week. We'll see. So the whole premise behind this silly Palooza, IPA Palooza, is that I'm not an IPA drinker. I've always kind of avoided that. I don't like that bitterness to the beer. Um, and so sometimes, so I thought it'd just be fun to learn more about it. Because sometimes when you don't like something, don't understand something, I don't have to like it to still want to understand about it. So I kind of wanted to increase my knowledge on IPAs. So, holy cow, one thing I learned about IPAs as I was trying to research them is that not everybody can agree on different characteristics of IPAs and what different terms mean, but I did still learn a lot. So, here's some examples of things just from the internet. Um, I like this statement. Not all juicy IPAs are hazy, nor are all IPAs juicy. Because I've learned that hazy IPAs and juicy IPAs, in some people's perspective, are basically the same thing. And other places you read, that's not the case. So please leave comments about your knowledge on IPAs because I'm, I'm a rookie when it comes to IPAs. Um, I learned that there are basically three different types of IPAs. I guess like, because there's all kinds of IPAs, but like big category. Uh, West Coast IPA, British IPA, and New England um, style IPA. And I didn't realize that West Coast IPAs and East Coast IPAs here in the U.S. were anything different. Um, what I think I'm finding out is that the New England style IPA is the juicy and the hazy IPAs. Um, that's part of either being a juicy or a hazy IPA. Now, I did buy, uh, like I said, five IPAs. One is juicy, one is hazy. I can't remember all the other ones. I thought about doing the juicy and the hazy today together to taste them. Um, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get through the whole beer, so I didn't want to waste two beers. I thought, well, if I taste one, I might be able to get, if I don't really like it, I still might be able to get through it because I hate to waste beer. I decided to go more on IBUs, so I'm starting with the lowest IBU today, and then the next four beers after that, we're going to keep going up because I'm interested to see how the IBU really affects the bitterness. I mean, obviously, the higher the IBU, the higher the international bitterness unit right the bitterness bitterness is but i'm curious to see if i like one ipa better than the other based off of the ibu or maybe there's one that has a higher ibu that i actually like because the flavor is better that's kind of the the basis of why i wanted to uh do this um, and kind of investigate that aspect of it i do want to read this little thing it was from beervanablog.com just a little blurb. I thought this was interesting. It says, what seemed straightforward became confusing when someone pointed out that we already have a term that expresses what juicy seems to describe. And that word is fruity that we've always had. The quality of fruitness is one of the oldest and most established derived usually from esters yeast creates, but sometimes resonant in the flavor and aroma of certain hops. I suggest that fruity is a descriptive term but juicy is an evocative one. Um, it hints at an experience as when a dribble of sun-warmed liquid runs down one's chin after biting into a peach. So by this reckoning, juiciness is extreme fruitiness. <laughs> I don't know, because I think that brought up a good point. We use fruitiness so what, you know, to describe beer. So how is that different than juicy? I don't know. I just thought that was kind of interesting. Let me know what you think about that. So each week that I sample one of these five that I've gotten, I'll, I'll compare it to the week before or the time before they did it. We're going to start out with this uh, Juicy Tempo. It's a juicy IPA from Odell's Brewing um, in a town here close to me in Fort Collins, Colorado. The ABV is 7.7 .7 and the IBUs are only 36. So pretty low IBUs. Um, so 
when I looked it up online, I should probably do this the other way around so it doesn't influence me, but I already looked it up. It says that it has like a ripe pineapple and a bright orange flavor, okay? So, anyways, Juicy Tempo. So, I'm going to try it. Again, I'm not an IP IPA fan, so I'm a little scared. Let's see how this goes. All right. All right, so here we go. You can see the color, actually, the way the lighting is. Um, kind of that nice light orange, but that looks hazy to me, right? We're not seeing through that. So it is a juicy IPA, but there's that debate that I keep reading about. Is a juicy and a hazy the same thing? I don't know. I'm a rookie at this. Nice head on there. It actually went down a little bit since I turned the camera back on, but let's smell it. Wow, and even if I had looked it up on the website before, the pineapple and bright orange for sure is what it smells like. What I might not have been able to describe, because I don't describe beers very well, I'm getting better though, is they said ripe pineapple, and that's really, really true. You know how, like, if you go somewhere tropical, that's been years since I've been somewhere tropical, but, and they have, like, all the fresh tropical fruits, and they bring you that pineapple that's just super ripe, and that has a different smell to it. That's exactly what this smells like. Smells really good, so maybe I'll, I hope I like it, so that I can have an IPA that I do like. Okay, cheers, let's give it a go. Actually, I can't believe I'm saying this, because I'm not an IPA person. I actually, that's very pleasant. I really like, and that is a low IBU, so it's only 36, so it definitely has that malt coming through. Um, and it's just very pleasant because it's nice and, and fruity, juicy, I'm sorry, it's juicy, but that pineapple and orange, I feel like, I feel like for me, the orange comes through more than the pineapple, but that pineapple's definitely there. Although when I smelled it, that ripe pineapple smell, um, was the first thing I smelled with the orange in the back. So I think that's interesting that the smell and the taste were kind of opposite. But, I actually will sit and drink the rest of this beer. This is a very, very pleasant beer. So, Juicy Tempo from Odell's, Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, yeah, so, as I go through these videos, um, please let me know what you know about IPAs and terms for IPAs. It all seems very uh, confusing. Like, so if I go into a pub, you know, and I'm looking up at the menu trying to see, you know, what's on the board, um, there's all these terms that I don't know what they mean. So that's what I'm trying to learn. Um, but I did learn that I like this. So cheers, you guys. I'll see you on the next one. And we'll compare. I think uh, I have to look at the IBUs, but it might be the hazy that I bought this next. I'm not sure. But that would be good because then I could compare them back to back. So I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye.